So check this out. One of the best things about having my own show is getting to invite people on, a lot of times my friends, who have amazing stories and deserve to be on Late Night. My guest tonight is epic, incredible, happens to be one of my closest friends. Don't tell him I said any of those nice things. Please welcome Humble the Poet. What up? What's good? What's going on? Look at you. You cleaned your place. You're, you're wearing a shirt that's like ironed, apparently. Uh, last time you were on the show, we got tattoos together. Um, we did. Matching Ivy Ivy Eye tattoos. Mine's on my neck. I don't remember which side. Is it this side? I Camera? believe, yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Well, how's yours doing? Do you even remember where it is? Yeah, it's on my leg and the hair grew back. That's the good news. <laughs> okay. Did you, have you gotten any more tattoos since then? I have. I, I, I just got one uh, upside down where it says, remember the future. Oh, that's sick. Let's get to the actual reason we're here, okay? Because it's not me, it's not you. It's your new dog. Uh, introduce yeah. us to Boogie, please. A new dog dad. Ta da! Oh Let me my say hi. goodness. Say hi, hi Boogie. Boogie. Does Boogie just Boogie camouflage look. into your beard? He does. He <laughs> just, when I need a beard extension, I just put her in here, and then nobody can tell the difference. She's just, I just have an extra long beard. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks legit. <laughs> It does, it's like a moving beard. It just made my beard that much more adorable. She, she had a question for you though. Oh, okay, hit me. She, she wants to know what's, what's gotta happen to get Scarborough to follow her. Oh, dang, okay, drop drop Boogie's IG. Here we go, get the plug in. Okay, so Boogie's IG is Bad Bish Boogie, B-A-D-B-I-S-H-B-O-O-G-I-E. <laughs> and it's full of heartwarming, wonderful content with her and sometimes featuring her little sister. Yeah. Wow, I mean, this is why we're friends. Both of us are like, oh, we're gonna be on late night TV. Okay, my dog's Instagram and <laughs> Yes, my dog needs to, needs to plug. She needs to plug. <laughs> so, so adorable. Now, I obviously know you really, really well. You're one of my closest friends. And it's been a pleasure to see your journeys throughout life. Some of those journeys being physical journeys, some of them being spiritual. I wanna dive in a little bit for people at home. Let's talk about your physical journeys. You went on a trip that involved a lot of ice and coldness and snow. And it's the one time I ever said to you, I can't believe we're friends. Um, tell us about that trip. Yeah, so in January of 2020, me alongside 13 other dope dudes, we went to Poland and we did some ice bath training and some breathing training with the one and only Wim Hof. And that involved sitting in freezing cold ice baths for up to 10 minutes. Uh, jumping into frozen lakes and hiking up a big mountain, a four hour hike, uh, only in our shorts. Why? <laughs> Why? So let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this, because you, you were in the ice bath, you said for 10 minutes. You survived all 10 minutes? The first time I ever did it was for 10 minutes. And then I learned months and months later that you only really need to do two. So. <laughs> Now, what are you going through in your brain when you are freezing cold? Like, what are you telling yourself? So the first minute, I'm rehearsing my apology to the rest of the group because I want to get out. So I just like, how do I say, sorry guys, I got to get out, I got to get out. And, and But the beautiful thing is it just unlocks how amazing our bodies are. And what happens is we adjust and we adapt. So eventually, your body gets used to it. It takes about two minutes. So as you get a little bit more control of your breathing, uh, as you find your rhythm, uh, you start to calm down. You're like, okay, I can actually do this. And uh, since then I've been taking cold showers every day and it's been amazing for anxiety, uh, amazing for stress, and also just feeling good about myself that I start my day doing something really hard. That's dope. When you come over eventually and, I, and we play ping pong and I inevitably whoop you, the loser will take an ice bath. How about that? Yes. I mean, okay. the winner should take a night. We'll take we'll take ice bath before we even play, and that'll even that'll, that'll okay, get a juice. Let's not get carried away. Okay, let's not get carried away. Oh my God! Thank you so much for watching the show. If you click here, I think you can subscribe to the channel. If you click over here, more clips just like this one. Click them.